G'day guys, Borgie here, and this is Camper Trailer Lifestyle's all new Touring Test Track. So this time around, we're tested out the all new Dominion from Signature Camper Trailers. Now, as you can see, it's a full hybrid camper trailers, and like most hybrids, it's designed to take you out there in the bush touring nice and comfortably, nice and easily. So, how did it go? Well, let's take a look. So it made sense to get out and test the Dominion on the blacktop, and what better place to test it than Bathurst, going right around Mount Panorama. Now, naturally, this isn't the type of V8 you normally see tackling this track, but in this case, it done just fine. The van itself handled pretty well. It actually stuck to the road. It's not a V8 race car. It's not quite as good as the old Fords I used to follow, but it does stick to that track really well, handle nice and stable, and at the end of the day, it was nice and predictable, even on the track, believe it or not. It does weigh in at 2,400 kilos at a tear weight with a GVM of three tonnes, so you will need a full-size four-wheel drive to tow this particular van. Now, with all the bitumen behind us, it was time to hit the dirt roads, which is my favourite part of the whole touring lifestyle. Now, how did the Dominion go? Well, to put it simply, it was simple. It was nice and easy to tow behind the vehicle. It didn't move around too much, which is a really good thing. Now, it is a full-size van in terms of height, really. So you've got a pop top, but for those tighter tracks, you do still have to watch low-hanging branches and things like that. Now, that's with any type of van, but that was probably just the one thing that I was really keeping an eye out for over the last couple of days. Now, I did find it had heaps of clearance as well. So underneath, I wasn't too worried about it hitting rocks and things like that, but that extra bit of clearance, extra bit of height, did mean on off-camber angles, well, it's gonna lean a little bit more than, say, something a little bit lower. So when we're dropping down into some of those riverbeds, we did have to watch it a little bit, but you know what? It got down there, and it got down there with ease. And that means that you can get to some of your favorite campsites and not have to worry about it. Once you find yourself that perfect campsite, obviously, it's time to set up camp. Now, for me, the Dominion took about 10, 12 minutes to set up completely. That means pop the top up, fold the back out, and even wind out the awning. When I say wind out the awning, it's an electric awning there, so you press the button and let it do its work to set up the legs. It's as simple as that. So 10 minutes in, and you can be relaxing with a cold brew, and maybe throw a line in. That's what I did, and I called it work. One thing I will say is the actual pop top is very easy to set up compared to a lot of other ones I've tried out over the last few years. They seem to have really worked out the weights right, so it's very easy for a simple one-person operation. And when it comes to folding out the back, that is also a one-person operation as well. It all just clicks into place, it's strut-assisted, it really doesn't take much strength or much effort at all. Now, on the inside, that is where things get very comfortable. In fact, I'll go as far as saying, if it was raining and you had to stay inside, it just wouldn't matter at all. You'd have just a good time in there. There's plenty of room, you can play cards, the kids have got bunk beds in there, they can relax, chill out, do what they gotta do. You've also got a toilet and shower. What more could you want when you're out camping in the great outdoors? One thing I noticed was that there was plenty of ventilation going through the van. There's heaps of windows there, they're nice and big and nice and easy to get to. The other thing is, it does have an air conditioner up on the roof as well, so if you get a really hot day, you can retreat back there to cool down. Now that's a camper that's got absolutely everything you need to be nice and comfortable in the outdoors. You don't have to use it all, all the time, but it's there if you need it. Now in terms of the electrical side of things, you've got a red arc management system, takes care of all the charging side of things, well, the whole power side of things really. You've got solar up on the roof, the main control panel is really well laid out as well. You're not gonna hit buttons by accident. You can see exactly what they are and it's nice and easy to use. What did I think about the Dominion overall? In terms of hybrid camper trailers, I'd say this one here ticks all of the boxes. It's well finished off, it's well put together. There's plenty of attention to detail, and overall, it's gonna get you to where you wanna go and do it comfortably, and that, to me, is exactly what you want in a camper trailer. So if you wanna see more of the Dominion, make sure you check out signaturecampertrailers.com.au, or pop into one of the stores, tell them Borgie sent you. They might charge you double, but go and see them anyway. Catch us.